We're now going to look at the the power of the uh, of the collect method, and the um, you know we've we've been saying uh, we've been making new uh, new vex uh, using like map and then collect, and then uh, you know you have to tell Rust the type, uh, but uh, sometimes it can figure it out, and so you see a lot of uh, a lot of this like you know vec of i thirty twos, but uh, this part if Rust can figure it out, you can just uh, of this uh, this underscore and it'll figure it out so I want to show you that uh, you can actually put together a hash map with collect that's uh, that's a really cool thing uh, so and on top of that is uh, I'm going to use a method called no, zap zip and zip is let's say you have uh, you have this vec here and then you have uh, this vec here vec vec and then you would like to make a new vec that has one and three and then the next item is two and four and the next item is three and five and there's uh you use zip to do that so it'll it'll turn this into an iterator turn this into an iterator and then it'll put it nicely together and you'll end up with a uh, one three you know something like that one three that's not a three that's there we go and two and four and you can see they're like zipped together um so it's a very good name for the for the method so let's uh let's some not some methods some numbers <clears throat> uh and this will be vec zero one two three four five so this is a vec of uh i32s and then we're going to have some words and the words are going to be a vec of uh, stirs, and we'll say zero, one, two, three, four. Actually, I'm just going to go to four so we can see how that works. And then uh, now we'll put it into a big hash map with uh, with just one line. So we'll call it a number word hash map. And here's what we do. So we take, we'll put it, hmm, Put it here some numbers and what are we going to do first uh let's uh into iter and then uh so now it's an iterator that takes the value and now we're going to zip and zip takes uh let's look at the uh the signature for a second so it'll zip something inside the brackets you put in something and that also has to be an iterator because you know you need to have two iterators to, to put them together. Um, where is it? So there you go. So it zips up two iterators into a single iterator of pairs. So you have uh, you have yourself and then uh, the other, and it goes inside there. And you can see this is um, you know it's type U, and the other has to be also type U. So you're you know two iterators. So we will do a zip. So right now we have some numbers is an iterator. After that, uh, we have some words, and then we'll also make that into uh, into iter. So there we go. And now this is kind of like uh, like map. You know, if we do this, it'll say, "Okay, you have made a a zip for me." Um, we haven't uh, we haven't made it into anything. So if we uh, you know do this this trick again and get the compiler angry, then uh, you can see all that we have made is a zip of an intuiter uh, of integers and a standard vec intuiter of uh, of stirs. So you can see the zip is uh, is ready to go. But now we have to say. Let's make it into something. So we will make it into a hash map. And what's it going to be? A hash map of, well, we can say i32 and stir. We can do that. Or we could also say a hash map of, you know what? You can figure this out. So it's up to you. You can say, there you go. Hash map of, please figure it out for me. This is all we have to tell it, and then it'll figure out the types, because as you saw, it, it was a zip of uh, of like uh, i32s and a zip of uh, 
of stirs and so rust already has that information so uh, we can just say that if you want but it's totally up to you you can uh, you can give it all you can you know if you want to make your code super clear then there you go now people will know so then for key uh, something we get uh, something and we'll just test out our number word hash map and we are going to do a get and remember get uh, takes a uh, a reference uh, so we'll give it a reference uh, to which will be uh, and we'll unwrap it because we know that uh, that this is not very not very long we definitely have an index too or an item two in there and let's see do, 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 do. That's right. There we go. Two. And run that. While we do that, I'm going to start. There we go. For key two, we get two. And then the last thing I want to show you is uh, for item in number word hash map, actually for Let's say we'll say key and value, key value in number word hash map, and then we are going to uh, print the key and value, and this will show us uh, a little bit more about how zip works. And you can see, uh, so we got zero, we've got one, we've got two, we got three, we've got four in there, and you see our original went up to five, so we have six items here. And we have five items here. So when zip uh, does this, um, if the you know if, if this has a different number of items than this, it uh, it's fine with that. It's not going to make an error. It's just going to uh, zip up all the items it can, and then it gets to five, and it looks for an index here, and there's nothing there, so it just gives up. And um, but you know it doesn't make an error, so that's that's quite nice.